The following segment is sponsored by IKEA. With so many products on the market, it is crucial to stay informed about safety standards to make smarter choices and ensure our homes are safe and secure. So how do we make smarter, safer choices for our homes? Joining us to discuss is Nancy Cowles, Executive Director of Kids in Danger. Welcome to the show, Nancy. How are you today? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Oh, I'm so glad that you are on the show. Let's start off by what are some key things that we should be thinking about when shopping for new products to ensure we are safe at our home? Yeah, it's a great question because I think a lot of times consumers assume that a product is going to be safe. It wouldn't be for sale if someone hadn't made sure it was safe. Unfortunately, that's not always the case. Um, for instance, if we talk about dressers, um, there are a lot of incidents every year where someone is injured by a tipping dresser. Um, and about one child every month is killed when their dresser, a dresser in the home, tips over on them. Um, this is really a hidden hazard. Uh, parents don't expect that a tiny child would be able to tip over a dresser. So it is something that needs to be dealt with. And you need to think about when you go shopping um, so that you can buy a new product that meets a tougher standard. Absolutely. I'm so glad that you can be a voice over that because we definitely do not want that to happen. How about, um, are there any new government standards to help uh, rules that are helping to shape a safer future? There are, in fact. So because of the statistics of, of children dying and being injured, in 2022, Congress passed the Sturdy Act, and it is does just what it sounds like. It makes sure that dressers and other clothing storage units are going to be safer in our home, less likely to tip over. And in addition to the strong rule, they have to come with an anchoring device so you can attach them to the wall to take out any risk that the product might tip on your child. Is that kind of how the rules are impacting the furniture products are on the market now? Yes, it does. It applies to any product made after, manufactured after the date of September 1st, 2023. So those products are in the store now. Um, unfortunately, there might be older products there too. Um, but so you need to ask when you're shopping to find out if the product was made after that date or even if it was made earlier, did it already meet the standard and, and, and don't buy it without that information. Wonderful to know. Is there any advice for families who want to make sure that they that their furniture that they meet actually meets these new standards? Yeah, so if you want to be sure when you're shopping in particular, you're going to look for that date because it is required that the manufacturer date be somewhere on the furniture. Um, if you can't find it, then you ask the who's ever at the store, the retailer, the manufacturer's representative um, when that product was manufactured. If it's manufactured before that date of September 1st, 2023, ask if it did meet the standard, if it met the 23 standard, because there's a chance that it did. But if you don't get the answer to that question, look for one where you can find the date and you can be assured that it meets the new standard, because it would just not make sense to, at this time, buy a product that wasn't safe when the safe ones are in the stores. Well, thank you so much to IKEA and for you uh, letting everyone know that you guys are doing this for the safety of children. Thanks for being on the show, Nancy. Oh, happy to be here. Thank you. Have a great day.